Alright guys, so we're jumping straight into this video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I distressed these jeans or these shorts that I got from the thrift store. And these are Levi's. So right now I am showing you guys the little lines that I made um, to where I'll be cutting things. And I did use a yellow marker, which was my mistake because usually I use like a pencil or like a blue pen. Um, so with that being said, because I used the yellow marker, I'm going to make sure that I cut out anything that's yellow because I don't really know if they wash out. And yeah, that was just my mistake. So definitely try to use something that you know is like washable um, and can come out of your clothes because I didn't, I didn't do that this time. So yeah, and then that's, these are the slits that are going to go in the back and I kind of marked it to where like I knew my butt wouldn't be hanging out because I definitely did that wrong the last time I made jeans. And then in for the front, I'm just making sure that I cut off the bottoms because I do want it to fray at the bottoms and look more distressed and not so neat. And then as far as the front, so for the front, I'm just cutting two big holes on each side or at least one big hole. And I do do each side um, of the front differently. So I'm just cutting out rectangles and kind of going with the flow and doing whatever. Um, yeah, so you can take it closer to the side or like the inside, but you don't want to take it too high because you just don't want like, you know, your privates to be hanging out just in case, you know, you don't want them to be coochie cutters or all that good stuff. So yeah, um, that's the reason why I mark it for sure. And then I also like to take it to the end, um, so like all the way to where the seam goes. Like I think that's what that's called. I'm not really sure. I'm not a fashion person as far as like I'm not like I don't make jeans. Okay, let me stop. Anyways, that makes it to where it's like looser. So if the jeans are a little bit tighter, you'll make it looser. Um, yeah, and then for the other side, I'm just doing the same thing. Nice little big cut square rectangle with a little slit um, in the middle of the bottom. And then here, I'm just beginning to fray. And this is what I do with all my distressed clothes is I kind of start the fray with the scissors. So I kind of zoomed in for you guys as well, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, it's not really much, but you'll see like the uh, fabric or wow, the thread, <laughs> the thread starting to come out and show. So that's what you want and that's how you know it kind of like gets activated, you know. And then as far as to wash them, you just want it to be on high spin and at least a decent soil. So I did normal. And then this is how they came out after being in the washer. So now I'm going to throw them in the dryer. And the dryer, you just want to make sure that you have high heat and that it's just tumble dry, high, all that good stuff. And then this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if you guys want any more DIY videos, let me know. I'll still have them even if you don't. And like I would say, don't forget to like if you guys like it. Don't forget to comment if you guys want to comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you all in my next video.